Okay, very good. We have returned, everybody. Uh, okay, you guys ready to go? All yes. set. All ready set. Then. Probably. So, yeah. So you guys got a rap <laughs> problem, basically. Um, we have a rap problem. Call the exterminator. <laughs> oh wait, that's us. Yep. Is that Eric? Is it on, is it on there? there? Exterminator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm gonna kind of slide this over here so everybody can see it proper. Like, okay. And, uh, okay, yeah, so, the initiative has been rolled, um, it seems like brown rat number one is gonna go, um, They're first. fast? Yeah. Well, they rolled really well. They're not really- And they probably have a decent well. initiative. Or, uh, yeah. dexterity, I mean. They, they, well, yeah, they do. They have really good dexterity. Um, as rats should, I suppose. Um. They are made of rats. They're ninjas. That's what I learned from cartoons in the 80s. <laughs> I have to figure out again, uh, just right quick. Let me get their uh, their their attacks in order here. So they got that. Very good. They have interesting. Okay, and then they have that. Okay, very good. I've got it figured. I think. Um, yes, got everything figured out. Okay, so the first thing, the first thing that this big rat's gonna do is it's gonna come rushing out and. And I'm trying to remember. It doesn't matter. First, the closest one. They don't have any sense. Excellent. They're gonna go <laughs> yeah. right over here. There's a guy with a donation. Thirty dollars. Ah! Oh, very oh. nice. Thank you. Thank you very much, right. Jessica. Okay, <clears throat> just in time for uh, the murder of Eric. Right. This is gonna happen. This is totally gonna happen. This is totally. No, this is not. I haven't seen the numbers, ah! but the ah! odds of the rats murdering Eric seems very low. Yeah, well, it just tried to bite you, and it really hurt itself. So that's no yep. good. Um, which of the What's the other rat that goes next? It's you, actually. You go next. This other rat's not going to take any um, any chance there. He's going to go for you as well. You seem very big, mm -hmm. very... I do seem you need very to big. be brought down low, right? Also, they have pack tactics, so they get advantage. Oh, that starts to help them. Oh, that, uh, oh. that is a good oh. hint. Um, I think it's cool to have the same thing, right? Oh. Or is it cobalt to get like an extra d6 damage or something? There, there are a few different ones. A lot of the small oh, weak stupid. enemies have so this stuff. Was... Yep. No, that's right. So uh, take eight points of damage. <gasps> okay, so it... eight minus minus three from my dr, so mm -hmm. it's five. It knocks off my three temporary hit points, and I lose two actual hit points. Okay. He loses two actual hit points from the damage of eight. Anyway. It's fine. I use the tank. That's what he's supposed well, to do. Well, if, if they keep hitting me for eight, they're going to do a lot more now that, in, until I can actually, like, drop one and get some tempted points back. Well, this one's going to go as well for you. Yep. And also, again, pack tactics. So I got... Oh, that's going to miss. That's going to miss. Really? Okay. That is unfortunate. Um. So now it is now Tal's go. Ready to go. Uh, yeah, I guess what's nice about this, Eric's definitely going to be able to regenerate his temp HP, because he should be able to one-shot these you things. think I can take them down, yeah. Alright, it looks like All I can rats. probably hit this guy here. If he's crawling along in the wall and, like, leaping at Eric. I'll take a swing at him as he goes by. Okay. 18 to hit. 18 and 8 hits. damage. 8 damage. Uh, and which one is that again? Can you ping it for me? The one, the one north of me. The north of you? Okay, yeah. there you go. That one, okay. Very good. So, yeah, that one is uh, now incapacitated. It is dead. Okay. And with my offhand attack, I'll toss a dart at uh, this one here. Although I don't think I can kill him in one shot, but... Worth a try, I guess. Maybe. Uh, and you miss anyway. Okay. I actually, no, oh. sorry, sorry. Attack is it 13. Okay, no, you hit. And what's the damage? Seven. Uh, that's, sorry, that's wrong because I don't get to add my damage bonus. So it's actually just the three. It's just the three. Oh. And it's this one here that you're hitting? It doesn't matter. <clears throat> one of the two. Okay. Yeah. So I just go like I just go like that. Very good. You by the way, for you your knowledge, you hit this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that's So it's uh, still okay though, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still alive. Yeah. So Eric, okay. here we go. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my rock and insert it into the fresh one in front of me. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna insert the rock. 
Yeah. You definitely yeah, well, hit. Take, uh, take 12 damage. <laughs> You know, well, I insertion read, damage. Look, you said it, Swing it, hand, it says insert rat. Or berries. And I'm thinking that you just hit this rat in the oh, ovaries. Red. That's what I that's oh. what I read. With <laughs> ovaries. No, it's, it's because I I just wrote that I don't you know necessarily I could have a weapon that would not do bludgeoning potentially. All right. Even though bludgeoning seems to be my style, so I uh, bludgeoning or berries is what I This this rat about. now has a rock for a head. Yep. <clears throat> it is absolutely wasted. Unfortunately Red. for that rat. Me, rock. Is that, this rock. is uh, is alliteration. No, no, he's the other one. Assonance. <laughs> this on, take a shot. <laughs> hey. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. Oh, yeah, and I get my three temp hit points. 21 back. 8. Mm -hmm. Definitely hit, and you definitely. Which one are you attacking, actually? This one? Yeah, uh, the one that's attacking there. Yeah, right there. That one there? Okay, so very good. Yeah. That one is now also dead. Wiped out. You guys are so mean. I'm oh, sorry. So this is the yeah, one you, last rat. You could have tried to make. You could have tried to make friends with the rats. What are you thinking? I could have. I could. Why well, we could befriend the little rat doll? <laughs> that rat runs away. <laughs> all this. All this. His whole family died. He's not gonna. Probably. Stick yeah. <laughs> He's scared. He's not hanging around. There's more food for him. So you guys uh, can't actually see that rat, can you? It just moved off the map. Good. All I right. So um, that is uh, that battle. That was very. <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah. Very good. So. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. am gonna check bodies. We need an investigation here. A good proper investigation. What were they killed with? Weapon types. Um, how long have these Ooh. bodies been here? Yeah. Get the I investigation. want everything. Actually, oh. investigation Ooh. rolls are good. Also, give me a medicine roll. Oh, Quill with that crit. Yeah, I think we're talking really sound for the medicine. I think my investigation oh. is redundant. I'm just looking around the corner. That was crap. I could have taken a 14. Mm. It's just like, it's, it's too too gory right now. It's really, really bad to look at the rats and stuff. Dragar 99 Wow, that's a massive donation. $64.69. Thank you very much, Dragar. The wow. generosity of these people. Very nice. Not no kidding. Unknown. And yes, got, and just remember, your donations are for a good cause because these 8 o'clock in the morning sessions are horrible. We're hoping to they are move it up they are an different. hour a little bit or something and get, you know, be able to continue for a while here. But we can't do that because Briar has to go to work on Sundays. <laughs> I got a nat 20 on my body checking roll. Yeah, so um, very quickly, oh, you'll yes. notice that every single one of these bodies has very systematically... Um, they have multiple injuries for, for death, mind you. I mean, some have knife wounds, someone, mm -hmm. one was bludgeoned over the head, and uh, another one was, you know, sort of just battered and broken. I don't know, by some blunt object. Could have been just physical, you know, physical harm. Yeah. Um, but they're some obviously all dead. Heart. But in the forehead of every single one of these, carved hard and deep right into the skull bone, is that same symbol of the earth Earth. okay Simple. so they were killed in a variety of different ways not like ritually sacrificed with their throat cuts or something like that nope. but they all had the simple question i mean i guess this is probably what the medical check was for can we tell if the carving was done before or post? after death yeah. yeah yeah um and yes um with with the medicine check actually all i needed was a dc 10 uh and two of you so, got, so that, got it yeah, Tao's got it easy. Um, yeah, you notice that it, it is, you're pretty sure, you're pretty sure that it was um, uh, post-mortem. Okay. okay. Which seems to make sense with the nature of the deaths and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It would yeah. seem weird that they would carve this in, also really brutal, mm -hmm. yeah. and then beat them up. In different so, ways. So, question. Without a plan. Do, it, because Do we recognize what, what these people? Uh, yeah. You yeah. Oh, yeah. There's there's different types of death here. Were these bodies brought here? That's Does, uh, do we do it look like the bodies were brought in and dropped because they died somewhere else from various causes, mm -hmm. or does it look like three people were brought here and then just a, a battle of some sort and they all died in different ways? What are we looking at? And do we know? Do I know them? Are right. these people um, like? Give me in? another. Uh, give me another medicine check. Because your, your yeah, first like medicine there, check wasn't... Um, like there'd, be, there'd be a lot more blood if they okay. died right here. There'd be a lot more blood yeah. on the ground and stuff. 
Yeah, no. Um, well, I mean, a battle looks like a battle in three bodies brought in yeah. who died at various states of decay and dumped here. I hope that, that would look very different, I think, to most of us. Yeah, checking the uh, checking the blood pool signatures of the bodies, um, it doesn't really match up for where they are currently laying. If they were, um, like, just yes, killed here, here and laid down, there would be a certain blood pool signature. You're not getting that. Yeah. It seems like they were killed other uh, elsewhere's and then brought. So there wouldn't. There's no actual blood here. There's just three there's, dead bodies. Well, that there's were brought there's here more blood around. More for the fact of of the the evisceration that's happening from the rats more than anything. Okay, that wouldn't. Okay, all right. Okay. That's different. so yeah. we had three so bodies if brought killed in. Here, there'd be more blood. There's just a little bit of yeah. blood from the bodies being chewed up. Okay. Most of the blood you yeah. see right now on the ground um, is very flavorful. For the scene, it's like setting a mood. <laughs> it's it's all stage Ooh. blood. That's it's what stage blood. Yeah, okay. Stage blood. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cherry nonetheless, <pie> filling. <laughs> nonetheless, if these bodies were brought here, there may be a few blood drops along the way. Is there any chance, like towards the right here, this yeah, hallway? Real. Do we see any there? Is there any indication that that might be where they came from? Which is what I'm assuming. Yeah, but no, in fact, I guess perhaps. if um, you guys are now looking for, for blood splatters, even before that, I should have mentioned, because there was one really good um, uh, medicine roll, um, you would have noticed that there were blood splatters, blood drops, if you will, along in, in shuffling patterns along the ground uh, heading this direction, the way that you guys have actually gone. Yeah, back the way we came. Oh, yeah, back the way you came. Oh. So oh, when we, we were checking for tracks and all the rest of it in here, okay. we would have seen right. people tracks in the dust, and they would have been like odd drops of gore or something along the way. Sorry, no, my mistake. My mistake. Okay. No, it does go the other direction. It does in come the from other the other direction. direction. Okay. North North so, we haven't been yet. That makes okay. more sense anyway. Yeah, no, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, it goes, yeah. so, so stuff we, coming in from where Tau is right now. Okay. So we are now seeing people tracks in the dust. And random bits of gore along the way. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. All right. So I'm peeking around the corner. There's Damn. something. Yeah, yes. There's um, a rock. You see, um, from that angle, you see, yeah, a rock. But it's not just any rock. This rock happens to be like. A sacrificial hovering. altar? No, it's oh. hovering what? above the floor. Oh. What? Yep. It's just hovering above the floor. About a foot. Whatever, I can do that too. I take out the, the glowing orb and I like I turn it on. Shuka 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 and put it in cover <laughs> mode to follow us. Actually Excellent. I get to follow so everybody Eric. everybody's gonna have, have uh, this torch. Vision, good yeah. vision down here right now. Whether or not you have and uh, Tau goes, yeah, okay. I have one too. <laughs> Excellent. So you guys are gonna be able to see everything that Lasan can see right now, which is good. Now that said, is the is the orb gonna be right next to you or are you gonna be following up behind you or in front of you? It, it, it's gonna be following Eric. Yeah. So he doesn't okay, so right behind Eric or beside him. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and good. then so also trying to the juggle torture rock. can still move without it. Go on. Yeah, because I can I can stay back with the light source a little bit farther. Although okay. it's a pretty bright light source, so they probably can see it around corners and yeah. stuff, but Do we super wanna... trap finding mode. Yes. Okay. Yep. No. Um, you are pretty oh. certain that you don't see any traps in and around this stone. Oh. You can roll for it if you like. I'll just go ahead and tell you right now, it's useless. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks. Uh, uh, we don't have like a long stick or something, do we? Um, uh, have bear trap. Go, go get your rock that you shoved in that rat. No, no, I, 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 I took, it, took it back out. That's okay, fine. then throw it rock. at this thing. Throw rock at rock, if you say so. Or something? <laughs> I'll, I'll throw the rock at the rock. Okay. As the rock... <laughs> Kareen's towards ah! it. I'm not gonna have a, 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 a hit to hit roll. It's fine. It's sta stationary. Yeah. You're good enough, right? You just bury your rock in a. Usually, if it if it's a it, it seems from what I've seen, if it's a large thing that is immobile and has no means of defending itself, just hitting it is like AC five. Yeah, so you're fine. So it's like hard to screw up. So it goes. The rock careens towards this bigger boulder that is just like you know floating above the floor, tinks yeah. into it, boop, and as it hits, it sort of stops its forward momentum, and it seems like it's about to drop. But doesn't. Okay. Ooh. The rock that Eric threw. Yep. I'm gonna take out my crowbar and I'm just gonna just poke 
That rock, Eric's rock. Okay. Yeah. As as you poke the rock, it sort of like hovers and turns a bit and turns a little faster as you hit a little harder and just. Okay. Oh. I sort of hook Eric's rock and pull it towards me. Okay. As you pull the rock towards yourself, after it leaves the bigger rock, the vicinity of the bigger rock, after about a foot or so, it goes, boom, smashes into the ground as hard as it would with its weight. So how how what's the distance between where it hovers and that rock? Shit. How much space do we have? Um, I mean between it and the floor, or oh no, okay, no, 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 that's okay. about a foot, about a foot away, if you will. A foot away from the rock is when Eric's rock yeah. dropped. A third of a meter. Yeah. Ish. But it didn't okay. mess with the it didn't mess with the crowbar or anything when he was reaching in there. Um. Well, no. Yeah. No. He's yeah. He's holding on to it. Okay. <laughs> I. Poke the big rock with the crowbar. Okay. <laughs> the big rock sort of like takes a moment to spin a bit, and you know, the little poking that you did sort of shoves it aside, but it glides a little bit and stops. It's like an. I, I'm trying to figure out if, like, if it's the big rock that's the anti gravity rock, or if there's an anti gravity zone, I wonder. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid we're all going to be floating around the rock having a party here in a minute. We can try to push the boulder into the corner of the room. Yeah. Rocks um, don't normally work like this. <laughs> <laughs> Profound. You're right. Oh my god. Curling. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to slowly push the uh, the boulder into, um, say this corner of the room. Okay. All right. So with as my, the boulder moves, wash your feet. Yeah, yeah watch, call, watch your feet. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm. I, yeah, that's a good idea. You're watching your feet. Okay, that's good. Um, as you move the the boulder, it's sort of like shum boom 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 boom. It moves about right to here, and then boom, falls, crashes right to the floor, and it makes a very loud sound because this is a very big rock. Yeah, there is that. But I mean, I figured out well we were already in combat and stuff. So, uh, okay. Oh, okay. I go and stand here. I go and stand here. <gasps> Are you, you go really? and stand there? Okay. Um, actually, what happens with that? Oh, God. I have, to know. I, I have, have to, to know. I have to know. <laughs> I thought, in here, I was thinking we could have thrown Demon X Rock in, and it gets that, and it, it becomes the floaty bit, and we could have just snuck around the corner no, this, is too this cool. way. But that's too easy. You're right. That's just silly. <laughs> Now, Tao has to find out if it's actually levitation yeah. or if it's earth bending. Um, no, actually, um, you're standing where the rock was and uh, nothing's happening. I sort of hop up and down. Oh. Like, nothing? Nothing. You don't feel different. <laughs> I can then see I, I pick up Eric's rock and I like just hold it up in front of my face and let it go again. And it hovers. Earth bending. All right. Whoa. What, what is use of this? Like, it's all very nice, rock float, yeah, yeah, I get it, but what is it for? <laughs> Don't know. If Tal seems to know what this is about, feel free to explain. Yeah, go right ahead. Is apparently something my daddy didn't teach me. <laughs> so, the, you want an explanation? The explanation mm -hmm. is there's a place right here where rocks float for some reason. Oh, now, wow. Now, as, as okay. a sailor, someone who grew up sailing, I am familiar with lodestones, with magnetite, you know, that mm -hmm. sort of thing, because we use compasses and whatever. All right. And, you know, that the fact that magnets attract um, steel, right? So I'm like, okay, maybe it's something like that. So I'm like, I hold up, I hold up one of my, my metal darts, and I let it go. A metal dart? Yeah. Um, actually, that makes a difference, doesn't it? Uh... They want to see yeah. pies float. Yeah. No. Okay. So the uh, the metal dart um, actually tumbles to the floor. <coughs> okay. So they ha they haven't invented metal bending yet. So that's good because that shit is rough. <laughs> but you would uh, need everything made out of platinum, right? Yeah. Um, Interestingly yeah. enough, I mean, uh, you guys do a. Um, does anybody have um, any? What are your knowledges? Does anybody have a knowledge for anything that might be relevant? <laughs> For anything we're, that we're proficient with, I don't believe that Eric is proficient in any knowledges. No. Okay. <laughs> um, so of without that ever. knowledge, um, somebody do a just do a uh, standard knowledge. Um, oh, I have intelligence I have arcana. Check. Intelligence I have arcana. Check. Or arcana. Uh, arcana okay, that would won't be a good one. It. No, just do a straight Earth intelligence check. Earth bending nature. 
Um, I think that may. You know, let's uh, do an intelligence just check. Just an intelligence check. So, Should work. Yeah, out. Uh, Twenty. Okay, let's sign. Um, that is that is that okay. is indeed, indeed good enough. Um, Rolling you're chat. quite sure that if if this indeed yes. you, you you've known that as you walked in here, this is this is dwarvish. Obviously, there's a lot of dwarvish things happening. Dwarves like to mine. Mining. Could, I mean, honestly. How do you move rocks? I mean, yeah, you could just put it on your back, and you could just like and hoof it across. Lots of rocks earlier. However, <laughs> yeah, I know. However, if you wanted to make your job easier, what would you do? Well, I don't know. If you had the ability to just have somebody else move rocks, <laughs> float the rocks, then uh, it does make your job a lot easier. Wow. So okay. perhaps that is what was happening. Maybe, and this is probably just this particular area is just one small section of a floor that used to work a lot better, but is no longer really working that well it just happens to have one rock sitting there i just suddenly best. remembered that that stuff i had heard about the dwarves i thought oh you know there was this story that they did but da, da, da. it's exactly the same way that uh the english people built stonehenge yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah anti-gravity rock magic i like it yeah um, that was it yeah okay <laughs> druids man <laughs> don't mess with druids they can shape change and all that stuff from the sound of that rock though Okay. We are continuing to look for holes in the walls, uh, tracks in the dust on the ground, collapsing ceilings. Along the way, yeah. No, actually, you don't see any more mouse droppings this way either. Okay. There's nothing Good. there. Yeah. I like he says mouse. It only weighed 40 pounds. <laughs> it's just a tiny <laughs> mouse that maybe oh, somebody no. did some experiments on, and now it's out for revenge. Okay. So okay. We're, we're continuing this process of. of Paying yeah. very close attention to our environment. Very good. Uh, cracks in the floor that could be traps, things along the wall, ceilings, especially handy dandy torches with mechanisms. <laughs> there another collapse thing over? Oh, no. We're just, okay, we're out of temple or whatever. It's back to natural stone. Yeah. Seems like it's a bit normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're keep we're looking. Yeah, yeah. We're no, careful. I got you. I'm uh, I'm I'm aware. We're looking. So, are we still seeing tracks, people? Um, if actually, yeah. Do, do an investigation roll right here where the uh, the dirty, dirty stone area. The dirty bits go. The dirty, the bits. dirty, dirty investigation roll. Be good. Be good. Oh, ten. Actually, no, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Um, easy, easily enough. Uh, you'll notice that there 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 aren't a lot of uh footprints around here there's not a lot of traffic mind you but um there was recent traffic at least but those and, bodies were carried there yeah. we're still yeah okay yeah, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of footsteps here though in fact there's just a, a couple yeah this is just where the beholder lives they don't usually come here <laughs> they, float anyway, it's fine. <laughs> they may take their eyeball and like smack it against the ground to itch it just a bit to scratch it that's how beholders fly they swallow a bunch of floating rocks Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, the, the beholder is actually just a floating boulder like that. It's the the creature is just like a skin that goes around it. Why is the it you can? You know. I, I haven't played this game in like seven years, and yet somehow you remember beholders. It's like oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they stand nice. out. They, they okay. just stay right there. So what are we There's seeing? Stuff. Okay, so Holy this stuff. is the what area is this? I can find the actual. Thing. Okay, very good. Um, <clears throat> just beyond this this uh, obscenely large boulder that seems to head back into the flat, smooth stones again, um, just outside of that, you see Tao specifically. I listen to actually. I guess you can see. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. This room in the center of this room stands a life-sized and lifelike statue of a dwarf warrior. Wearing a chain shirt, helm, and big boots. He carries a shield on his arm and a battle axe in his right hand. Now, all those bits, the, the chain shirt and the shield and battle axe, those are all part of the stone statue. They're not real items? Exactly. Or, yeah, they're like sort yeah, of carved okay. in. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we've discovered a stone dwarf golem. It is yet to activate. Oh, good lord. <laughs> could be. Um, this is Dungeons and Dragons, okay? Every every statue is at least a 50-50 chance. Oh, God. 
Uh, it would be very bad for you guys at level yeah. two, though. Let's just put it that way. What's this Gold yellow thing next to the statue? Is there a torch lit there or something? Yeah, what is that <clears throat> spot? Um, the little yellow bits. Um, yeah. You guys, uh, it's it's glinting. It's glinting at you. Um, you're quite aware that it's it's shiny. some amount of shiny, perhaps money. Okay. And the stone ring around the statue. Are those on the ground or are they floating? Um, they are actually on the ground. They're just bloop, right on the ground. This is ground. not a question that's normally asked. Yeah. <laughs> are the rocks? Are they floating, floating? in the air? Yes. No, they are not. They are they're they're placed are on the ground are... and um sort of yeah, completely inanimate. Just this just there. <laughs> so do we have some way to get better vision on that? Somebody needs to get better vision on this room before we all just like crash into it and find out there are a bunch of enemies. Well we could have a, a huge room. room by Tao if you want, and you can just yep, sneak forward good. and take sneaky Skulking. Skulking. Oh, yeah, oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna luck that one. Okay, I mean, one of my, my okay. first luck of the that day. is good. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. <laughs> Locking. Woo. It, you're really gonna hate me I for just, this, though. I just pick up the die, turn it upside down, and then put it down. Just down. like tra transmute failure into into victory. That was amazing. Right. Okay. So now you can move. You can move forward. Um, and take a look. You can do some scouting. It's an empty room. Yeah. I know. Excellent. That, 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 some say you're going to hate me for this, but... No, yeah. Whatever, we want to find out. It's an empty room. Um, Very good. So, you guys are now inside this room. You can see quite well it's that they're on the west side of the room is a door. On the right side of the room, or the east side of the room, I should say, there is also a, another door, um, which is where Tao is standing right next to. Um, and in the center west of the room, door. of course, is that dwarf. And there are items around the dwarf inside the rock circle. Yeah. 